Hey there, I thought I would uh, show you my new Godzilla stuff. So, from the new movie, it's coming out. There's the uh, Rodan set. Comes with some buildings to destroy. Pretty cool. And then the King Ghidorah set. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And, of course, the main attraction, Godzilla. Now, this Godzilla is far superior, in my opinion, to the Godzilla that came out from the first movie. Look at the fins on the back of this one. And look how little the fins are in this one. About an inch, about two and a half to three inches. His head is so much more detailed and mean looking. Whereas interestingly on the Bandai, which you would think Bandai would have the better one, but the Bandai, which is still cool, his head's a little weirdly shaped, but that is so that he can open his mouth and shoot out that thing that's in there. It goes like this. Isn't that cool? So I guess the best way to do it would be like this. I'll turn this light out. Check this out. That's pretty cool, huh? So that's why his head is bigger and he's weirder looking. And the body's a little thicker. The sad part, though, and the only thing that upsets me at all about this one, because this is a near-perfect, perfect Godzilla toy, the problem with it is... Come on, man! Can't you get your scales right? Couldn't King Kong and Godzilla at least be the same size? And it's all ironic because... King Kong is smaller than Godzilla, you know? But anyway, nothing will top the King Kong toy from Lennard Toys. This Lennard King Kong is probably one of the coolest toys that was ever made. And it's so weird to think that this amazing toy that would be like $200 at a comic book collector store was sold exclusively at Walmart for $19.99. You have no idea the quality of this thing for 20 bucks. That's unreal. I would have bought this for every little boy in America if I could. Or girl. Some girls like Godzilla and King Kong. Now this one's just as heavy and just as satisfying. It's just a little small. Now, one of the things that separates these types of toys from the $200 toys is the points of articulation, uh, things like that. But more important than that, and I don't know if you can see, but on this side of the figure, there's a ton of holes where they put the screws. So it's basically two pieces, and then they put an arm, an arm, a leg, a leg, a tail, and then it goes together, holds everything together like a puzzle, so now the arm turns, and then they screw screws in and all these little joint areas. I'm not complaining. I'm not going to be taking any of these out of their wrapper, you know, and unfortunately, by not taking this one out of its packaging, I can't show off his tail. The tail is in there. But because, uh, and it's huge, too. It's like two pieces. So it's one piece that's in here, it's one piece that's in here, and then on top of it's another piece, so that means the tail would probably come out to about right here. It's amazingly huge. Anyway, those are some of the Godzilla toys for the new movie. I really like this one a lot, but uh, I watched a guy do an a opening of his. He opened his, and the one that impressed me the most when he opened it was this one. It just looked amazing, the Rodan. The wings do this. It's pretty fantastic. Sorry, I wish I could show them off a little better, but I like to keep everything in this packaging. I'm a little, I'm turning 50 this month, at the end of the month, and 50. 50 year old, collecting toys still. But anyway, I'm turning 50, and I've decided that I can no longer buy two of everything. That's the one change I am going to make at turning. When I turned 30, I made a promise that I would only collect uh, toys related to superheroes and kaiju, Godzilla stuff. And now I'm turning 50, I've decided that I'm not going to get two of everything anymore. I used to buy two of everything, so I would have bought two of these. One to open, and one to keep sealed. Uh, I, for example, I have two of these. If you check my videos out, you'll see a video I made, a King Kong video, using that exact toy, but I used the one that I opened. So, those are the new Godzilla toys. They're pretty cool, you know, and they're made by um, this new company that I've actually never heard of. I'm sure some of the toy people out there have heard of them, called Jax. J-A-K-K-S. And uh, Jack Pacific, and the colors are very childlike almost, like a kid's toy, you know, right there. So that's pretty cool. Something new. They give you the size on the front, and they give you a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. So I'm, uh, I'm really happy with these. It's kind of a bummer that I'm not going to open them. I really want to, you know, but I, you end up playing with them for like five minutes, and then they get set on a shelf collecting dust. And if they're going to sit on a shelf collecting dust, they may as well be in their original packaging. Godzilla! End of the month! Holy moly.
I am so excited. I cannot wait. Let's do this one more time, huh? Yeah, baby!